So, look what arrived. The Mavic 3 Cine, two and a half weeks later. Lots of anticipation, lots of contemplation whether I should cancel my order, but I hung tight. It is here. It said signature required, and they left it at my door, so no big deal. Just have a $6,000 box sitting at your door, unattended. So that was FedEx, but regardless, it's here. So I want to do a little mindful Mavic 3 Cine. I'm going to try to be completely honest with not any of my hiccups that I had with the jock strap thing and all the other things that I didn't really think were that amazing, but I'm going to go ahead and just talk about this thing in a natural, organic way with this open box. Not really an open box type video. I figure I'll just kind of see first impressions on what I think this thing is about for almost six grand. It was basically 5,000 without the, um, the refresh. So here, open this guy up carefully. Never super easy. Put away a knife for a moment. Crack the box and I open the bottom, which could be good. Let me see. A little ding in the box, which always kind of bugs me. So, so we have the Mavic 3 Cine with paperwork flying all over the place. We got a dinged corner. Kind of the OCD nightmare when you don't get a perfect integrity box, especially when you're spending $5,000. For me, that means a lot in a weird way, but you know, a little crushed part in the top. But overall, looks pretty good. If I was buying this in the store, I'd definitely tell them to get me a new box because this would drive me freaking nuts. <laughs> so kind of annoying. I honestly don't even want the smart controller. I'm gonna be open to the entire smart controller thing and maybe give it a whirl, but I really don't feel I'm gonna dig it because I never really enjoyed any of the smart controllers. This box is pretty mangled. The Autel controller was beautiful. It was a nice big display, 2000 nit, but it wasn't for me. The DJI smart controller I never liked because it was a new piece of technology, or I should say another piece of technology that you had to kind of watch over and charge and learn. And it was Android based, which I can't stand. And this I believe is gonna be comparable. So basically we open this up and it says DJI Cine Fly App Video Tutorials User Manual with a scan QR code. To me, for five grand, just automatically, this is lame. I would rather have a hard case and again, it's not necessarily just like the Autel Enterprise thing that I was talking about, but who wants to just have a little teeny kind of lame bag and that's it? I mean, I guess that's part of DJI's thing. It's definitely solid. It has some weight to it. So there's that. Again, I won't use this bag ever, I hope, if I do keep it but I know a lot of the production hard cases aren't even available. I'll probably get a GPC. I'm gonna open this guy up carefully because again, if I don't like this thing, it's going back to DJI and I'm gonna go ahead and get an Autel Evo 2 Pro 6K Enterprise and call it a day, but maybe I'll love this thing. I'm gonna try to stay open to it. And we're gonna take a look at the bag and the contents, take this thing off. And yeah, I don't know, kind of a, a dorky bag. I'm not into this style of bag. I would never buy this thing. They charge 320 for it, I think, new. I think DJI is completely high, but that's just my honest feedback. I mean, I guess if you're kind of hipster bag guy, this would be kind of cool. You know, it's got buckles and all that kind of stuff that they're into, like the jockstrap gimbal guard but we're gonna see that thing firsthand very shortly. So unclip these. I can't stand this already, <laughs> personally. It has a lot of weight to it. I don't know what's in here. Maybe a blanket or something. <laughs> so it's like a backpack kind of thing, I guess. Can you see? 
I don't even know what that's about, but I'm going to cover that up because I don't want to have any part of it. And again, that's just me. I mean, I'm being just honest. I wouldn't use this bag. I don't like this type of bag and it will never be utilized. So it's just super lame. So we're going to open it up and to me, just out of the gate, this is really lame presentation. I would rather open up a beautiful hard case, as I said, and have this beautiful drone sitting there with the batteries and charger and everything neatly organized than seeing stuff in boxes. And here's the Mini, or the Mini. Here's the Mavic. Boom. You know, not that, not that crazy. Not that impressive. We got the Cine little gold badge on the side. And I'm gonna see for the first time if I think this strap is kinda all right. So I guess that's, let me see. I mean, it seems functionality wise, nice. So there's that. It's definitely ugly covering up the entire camera but we'll go ahead and pop it off. And there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and unfold the arms similar to any Mavic series. Feels, it's very similar. It definitely looks like a frog. <laughs> it has a frog presence. I spend a lot of time in Costa Rica. It has that red eye tree frog kind of eye thing and just the way the back is designed. Let me see you little Mavic 3. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's nice. It's definitely not some huge revolutionary kind of new drone. Like you're getting it and you're like, wow, this is so amazing. Like an Inspire 2 or something where the whole experience is completely different. I mean, you can kind of see, I think this is the battery release. So this is the battery for the Mavic 3. Let me, I have the, my, I wanted just for size comparison to see. Maybe I kept my Evo 2 Pro for some <laughs> comfort over here. But let's just see the battery size. So, it's a little smaller battery for sure. If you can kind of see a little shorter, a little less in diameter. So comparable though, design wise to the Autel series batteries, which we're all familiar with if we flew Autels. Boom, throw that guy in there. And now we're gonna throw this guy in there and I'm gonna make sure the contacts are on the bottom. This is all totally new to me. Boom. Let me make sure that thing seats. I mean, it kind of feels a little cheap in a way. I mean, I think this feels more robust when you're putting the battery in. It has a nicer feel. This. It's fine. I mean, nothing horribly wrong. So this should be right in back. Little micro SD slot and the high speed data cable. Because again, this does have the terabyte built in SSD, which to me is going to be interesting. The part that I think is kind of nice about it is that DJI at least told me, I'm not sure I haven't flown it, I just got it, that you can record photos and normal video, not just ProRes video, to the SSD that's built in. So unlike the Inspire 2 series drones where you have the Cine SSD, I got a 960 gigabyte Cine SSD in that Inspire that's been giving me a lot of headache. But regardless, you could only capture ProRes to that SSD in the Inspire 2. So I'm gonna test it out today even maybe. It's really crappy out. It's like 30, 40 mile an hour winds. So I'm going to see. We got sunset coming probably 
Oh, it's only 12.38. It feels really late for some reason, probably because I've been waiting for this drone to arrive. But initially, it definitely doesn't seem super impressive. It's very familiar to what we've already flown. And like other people have said, this is the other remote. There should be a smart controller in there. I didn't even get to it yet. But this is the one for my Mini 2 and my Air 2 and the Air 2S kind of controller. They should have really come out with one that at least matched the shell color. That would have been a nice option and a really simple touch. I think DJI definitely had enough time to do these little touches like that. That would set it apart and kind of make it a little bit more special, especially for two, three thousand, five thousand dollars. But they didn't. And again, that's just kind of lame. I'm going to try quickly to put this thing back on since I really am not a fan. I mean, they should have maybe put like the DJI logo on the front or something, right? Like this thing is just so freaking ugly. Maybe you got to put a sticker on it or something. I mean, this thing could benefit from maybe the DJI logo in gold or something embroidered on the front of it, like really pimp, nice finishing touches, but no, they didn't. It's just plain black lame. So I don't know. I think there's a lot of details missing on this drone. People can rave about it, but I've seen enough that I don't feel really wowed. So let me put this guy back. So we're going to fold this thing back. I don't even know why you really need this thing. I mean, to me, this automatically, I mean, I'm sure I'm not used to it, of course, but feels like a pain. Like, I don't even know what the frick I'm doing. So here, this is the right way, but like, I don't want to figure this out. I just want to put on the gimbal cover. I mean, let me see. I'm kind of bitching as I go. Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. Uh, do I have everything in there the correct way? So there's a little section here where the propellers kind of stay in. I don't think it's crucial you nail it. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's pretty ugly. Let's just be blunt, but it's not that bad as functionality is concerned. They could have put something on here like DJI, something kind of cool, DJI Cine, DJI Fly More Combo, DJI, you know, we kind of slacked, whatever you want to put. But there we go. We got that. We got this box. And I don't know what's in here. We have quick start guide. It looks like we have, I'm gonna probably take a little video of all this, just so I can actually, in case I do send this thing back. That's always a good thing to know how this stuff is packed. So here, I'm gonna take a little video of it. So we have this little guy right here. We have the cable, so this would be the high-speed data cable. Nice, that goes next. We got a bunch of props on the bottom, which I don't even need to take out right now. We have just the normal USB-A to USB-C cable. That's in there. And then we have our two sets of filters, which, you know, are good that we have them, but whatever. So essentially all I need out of this right now is the hub. So we got the hub that I'm not even gonna take out right now because this is not worth it. And the high-speed data cable. Because I wanna charge this thing and fly it and not skip any more time and waste any more time because it's been so long since this thing has been shipping to me. So we have right here. Okay, so this is kind of nice in here. But like for me, F this case. <laughs> I mean, I don't want my smart controller tucked inside some stupid suede lame bag. I just, that's, I want it in a nice hard case where I can access it really simply and cleanly and be done with it. So yeah, this sucks. So we got the charger. And again, from what I read, you can plug this right into the back here. I'm going to take this little jock strap thing off. I mean, I'm sure they're going to make some kind of new gimbal cover for this or customize them or something, but yeah, not, not a fan. We shall see if it gets easier. Get rid of that ugly thing. 
And this will be able to get plugged into, let me open the arms up again. I mean, the key is flying this thing. I don't really care that much about how it looks. And we're gonna go and, there we go. So we got our plug. We can actually charge the battery directly from the wall. So that's kind of a nice thing or power pack, but not game changer, just something kind of nice. And we're gonna pull out the smart controller. So right off the bat, here's the smart controller, brand new antennas. Bag almost took a dive, good catch, Anthony. All these buckles and crap that can, no, I don't know, I hate you bag. <laughs> okay, bag is going away, I don't like you. Okay, so the bag is down. Bag gets a definite thumbs down for me. But we have the smart controller, we're gonna take it out of its little wrapper. I'll probably end up selling this thing if I keep it because I honestly don't really love smart controllers, but I will give it a chance. A lot of people think it's the purest way of flying a drone is with the smart controller that's dedicated for that device. And I get that, it makes sense, obviously. I mean, there's no protection or anything on here right now, which I would like to put something on it if I were to keep it. The sticks are right here. We're gonna throw these guys in, thread them on. So a little different than the prior sticks as far as being a little bit more metal, aluminum, or whatever you wanna say. The antennas were not there prior. So, I mean, it feels fine. It's a thousand nit display. Same as iPhone 13 Pro Max. So essentially, same kind of thing. Uh, and that's it. I mean, we'll see what happens with the smart controller, but it's heavy, you know? I don't really love the heaviness of a smart controller. I personally, just so you guys are aware, have really enjoyed this iPhone 13 Pro Max. And it's again, thousand nit, same as this. And it's been very reliable, very stable to fly. I haven't had it forced dim on me at all yet. So it's been very, very good, very noticeably brighter than the 12 Pro Max. And I'm gonna power this thing on because that's what it is all about. I don't really care about you smart controller too much. So there's no cover on here. We got the stickers, obviously we gotta take off. All these little guys, do, 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 do. Carefully remove. And put aside one over here. So, I mean, it's a cool looking drone, I guess, but definitely nothing like mind blowing. It definitely has a frog like design. That's all I know, even the back. So, let me see. I don't know if I can test the battery level. Batteries have nothing, so basically I have no choice but to charge it. 